Okay, people, that time is upon us. I am French Shot Pearson, and welcome to French Shot Blue. French Shot Blue, my new channel. Thank you, one and all. The eclipse is happening today, April 8th of 2024. I'll get back with you shortly. Right here in the central part or the Midwest, this is what's going on. It begins today at 12.43. The maximum time is at 2.01 and it ends at 3.17. The duration of two is two hours and 33 minutes. What makes it interesting are the numbers. Every hour is 60 minutes. So 6.6.3.3. Six, six, three, three. Six, six, three, three. Wrap your mind around that. So FFCC, when you break it down, but either way, it's 6633. Three. Thought that'd be interesting. Again, I'll be getting back to you guys, cover parts and segments of this, um, of this moment. Now, someone had sent me, one of my uh, closest YouTube friends, uh, sent me some information about three rockets been following this for a while. Three rockets are going to be launched uh, by NASA today. I want you to listen to, to this. I want, I want you to think on, on this wise. Is the CERN, CERN in conjunction with this thing? And uh, in relation to Elon Musk, um, what is it that he's uh, doing in relation to this? Just ask him. Um, as the rockets, quote unquote, penetrate that area, which a video I will show you, in conjunction, will the CERN be able to uh, penetrate as well or do something simultaneously? Let me just go there for a minute. I do believe that there is dark matter. I do believe there was dark matter in the Garden of Eden. I do believe that that's, that that's the forbidden fruit that Adam and Eve got in trouble with. And once it's let out, all hell breaks out, breaks out on the earth. I do believe that when we chanted Black Lives Matter, yeah, when we said Black Lives Matter a few, few years ago, that was a chant to summon demons. And I do believe in conjunction with the CERN, that brings them out. Is this an op another opportunity to bring them out as we send three separate rockets? If I'm not mistaken, it's 45 minutes apart, give or take, um, into that stratosphere. Will it be, quote unquote, secretly, um, allegedly, in conjunction with what CERN might do today? That's all I'm asking. So check this out. And will it let dark matter out? Will it allow dark matter to go into the heavens and fight our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? I'm just asking all these things are running through my brain. Please put in the comment section. I cherish your response. Which is also the name of NASA's upcoming mission. Whatever we learn is applicable for other situations also, not just eclipse. The region being studied is called the ionosphere. It's part of the atmosphere 50 to 300 miles above Earth's surface. Scientists want to better understand how the ionosphere changes during unusual events. And this is where the eclipse comes into play. Think of the ionosphere as a pond with gentle ripples. The eclipse will be like a motorboat flying through the water, creating a wake immediately underneath and behind it. That localized effect kind of creates a whiplash where the ionosphere's plasma density goes down and comes back up rapidly. So why should we care about disturbances like this in the atmosphere? We are an increasingly connected society, radio signals everywhere, um, and all of these perturbations reduce the strength of the radio signals. The better we can understand it uh, through this type of mission, um, the better we can make that technology work. So yeah, NASA. NASA's about to do their thing. Look how this thing penetrates. Will it open up to another dominion, a, a portal? What is it doing? Have they explained this thing to your satisfaction? 
And this is what it was, A-P-E-P, A-P-E-P. -E so this is what they're doing, people. So let's go into this here. Is this writing here, is this Greek? Is it Egyptian? Is it hieroglyphics? What is this AP? EP. Let me know in the comments section what this writing is. I think that'd be valuable information. Here's your Greek lettering, Greek alphabet. And uh, the Greek alphabet has been used to write the Greek language, which the late 9th or early 8th century BC, it is derived from the early Phoenician alphabet. Phoenician alphabet. I've been teaching that about the Phoenician alphabet. They gave us 25 out of 26 of our letters. So maybe this will answer it. Is that Phoenician? Is that Phoenician? Look, look at the E, for example. Is this Phoenician? I'm not a scholar, I'm just asking the questions. Here's Egyptian. Egyptian hieroglyphic alphabet. Egyptian hieroglyphic alphabet. What is this writing that they have on here? A P E P. Put in the comment section, please. Now check this out. A P E P, also known as Apophis in Greek, was the Egyptian god of chaos. Do you hear me? Egyptian god of chaos. What did I teach you in my live a few days ago? These gods, Sage is bringing his best in the last days. These are these devoted gods which are helping secure the dominion and bringing the new world order, in my humble opinion. And the bloodline is allowing them to do it through their free will. They're working in conjunction. Egyptian God of chaos. Have we not, have we not had enough chaos since 2019? Does 19, does that not mean chaos? So through these three rockets, are they letting in more chaos? Look, the question's gotta be answered. Put in the comment section. Is this chaos? APEP, -E also known as Apophis, if I'm pronouncing it right in Greek, was the Egyptian god of chaos. APEP -E was the polar opposite of the godly personification of order. The opposite of everything being right. What did God say in the book of Genesis when he first created it? Everything was good. This god is t the total opposite. Matt, Matt it and the chief enemy of the king of the gods. They fight amongst each other, don't they? The sun god Ra, he took the form of a great snake. The Egyptians believed that the sun was Ra traveling along a boat in the heavens. It's deep, y'all. I gotta get me a tech person to uh, hook me up so I can talk to you guys live uh, via phone. So you guys who know this thing better than me, we can talk this thing out for a few hours. So pray for me. I need somebody to help me set this thing up in Illinois. We can work together and educate each other, know what, what's going on. But these, this is an Egyptian god. They named this thing after A-P-E-P. -E -P? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? It ain't the first time, right? But look at what they're doing. I did a video, what, last year on Friendship Pearson where I talked about um, when they go up in space, they name whatever spaceship after a god. But now this one co really comes into play because Egyptian god of chaos, baby. Come on now. I say they speaking without speaking. This going on at the same time of the eclipse? This don't look right, people. So check this out. And again, thank my friend for sending that question to me. Total Eclipse, April 8, 2024. What is this writing? 
Is this Greek? Look at that. I want to make sure I don't put, put my friend's uh, name, name out there by accident. I want to do that. So, um, let me go. Let me go. In. Okay, here we go. A-P-E-P, -E -P, you saw that earlier. Wallops Island, Virginia. There's this, one of the uh, rockets. That's it right there, right? So yeah, people, what do you think? Is this in conjunction with the CERN? What are they doing? Are they speaking without speaking? What do you think? Have you done research on this? Look, people, it's, this is serious. Uh, I don't put nothing past them. It looks like to me, allegedly, in conjunction with the CERN, because I heard they're ramping up the CERN, you know, all this thing working in concert. I've been saying for over a year now, they're going after our Lord and Savior for that second battle to be like the Most High. It's a battle, people. It's not only on earth. It's in the heavens. What lair? I don't know, but the Archangel Gabriel and Michael, they got to fight this stuff off. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, make his move. But in their mind, it looks like these, uh, these people, allegedly, they feel like with this bloodline, these fallen angels, they have already conquered this domain, this earth. And like I said, now they're going up there. Tell me what you think. What's really going on here in, in, in our realm? Are they, are they on the up and up and telling us the truth as to what's going on with this, um, with this eclipse? They selling one thing, oh, the greatest thing happened the last four years, you know, it never happened again, gonna have an X over the earth. But are they explaining this thing that A-P-E-X, A-P, E-P, A-P-E-P, -E -P, also known as a, it was a Greek god of chaos? Come on, y'all. Let's, let's just keep it real. Let's put chaos in there. C-H-A-O-S. Look at that. Chaos is 19 and 46. Did we just have a moment of C-19 a few years ago? Right? Isn't that called chaos? You've been learning that. God bless you guys. Be careful. And again, I'll follow up going to do a few videos today. Let's educate each other. Let's pray. These devils, they think they slick, y'all. Don't, don't they think they slick? I'm just going to say allegedly. They doing stuff right in our face. What you think? Type in your face if you understand. You know, if you not don't have a lot of time, type in your face in the comment section if you think you understand. They doing stuff right in your face. And maybe a lot of these scientists and whatever people that work for these places, they don't really know the hidden agenda, allegedly. But we do. Remember, greatest he is in you, that he is in this world. My name is French Shai Pearson. God bless you. Don't forget I have a book out. It's called Protect the Gift. And the wise men, they looked to the heavens. They knew what was up, that Jesus was coming again. And he made a promise. After he died and rose, he told his disciples, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. It came through like a rushing wind in Acts 2. At the same time, he said, I'll go to prepare a place for you. A new heaven, a new earth, not made by hand. Because it's going to be a war, people. In my book, I talk about the last Christmas. Thank the book lady for inspiring me. She asked me to write the last Christmas. I'm sure the Holy Spirit told her to do that. She just called me on a whim and said, write about the last Christmas. So I have a poem in there called The Last Christmas. You can get this book, a poetry book, on Amazon Books. You can get it. It's a beautiful book. Praise God. Amazon Books, French Shot Pearson, Protect the Gift, Protect the Gift. There it is. It's a beautiful book. A beautiful book. Beautiful book. Love it. Thank God. Be careful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his promise. Where will we be without his promise and his salvation? Thank God that he's coming again. Amen.